five set win over the defending champion ORD. This one that we're looking at now, Volley Sports versus MMC could easily be the same kind of match going the distance. With me is Caleb Khan. He will be our color person. I'll let Caleb tell, him, tell us about himself a little bit. Hi guys, my name is Caleb. Uh, I actually play for the Hua Chong alumni team. So we actually went ahead, went against uh, Volley Sports, who is playing in the semifinals. And unfortunately, we, do not, we did not win them. So I think we have uh, good insights on, on them. And I think it will be a fun match to commentate about. Well, again, it's, it's exciting volleyball. Again, we have the best players in Singapore playing, and even some players like, in, like with the uh, Spico, they imported two national team players from Malaysia. Um, and so we're seeing that kind of thing happening, which I think suggests just how serious the level of this volleyball has become. One of the things we want to mention is free admission. We would encourage you to come on down. If you don't want to listen to this, uh, broadcast which we are so excited to be able to bring to you. It's the first time, by the way, that we are streaming these matches live, high definition, multi cameras. Go to your Facebook pages, let your friends know. They can watch the best volleyball in Singapore. They can watch it live HD or they can come down here, free admission, and watch some fantastic volleyball. We are about to get started. Both teams wearing red, Volley Sports with the white numbers, MMC with the blue numbers on the far side. We want to say thank you very, very much to our sponsors, XS Energy Drink. I had some last weekend, and it is fantastic. And our title sponsor, Neo Group. We very much appreciate everything that you do for volleyball here in Singapore. That's right. So, Coach, just looking at the start volley sports um, I think there's one change that they've made to the starting lineups that they've been using throughout the entire series so uh, volley sports number one of number 11th Lachlan I uh, believe it's an exciting player that you're looking out for as well yes he is actually a member of our senior national team men's national team as a young kid and he is doing a great job first serve is up MMC left side attack kill Draw first blood. MMC back to serve. Overpass. Not handled by Volley Sports. Point MMC taking a quick 2 0 lead. Good pass. Right side attack. Cross court kill. Good by Volley Sports, number nine. Royston Woon. So the setter for Volley Sports, number 14, uh, Sin Hao, he was the um, previous national setter of the national team. So it's bound to be a very exciting match. Killed again by MMC up 3-1. Back to serve. Pass, set. Inside set, handled by MMC. Right side attack, out of system, no good, into the net. Point Volley Sports. So with, uh, with that serve out, uh, service error, MMC is taking a lead of um, four points to two. Back to serve right now is Daniel Lee. Right side attack. Wide by Volley Sports. Number three, Lawrence. He's one of the more dependable players on, on this uh, Volley Sport team. One of the veterans that has been this team for quite a few years as well. Again, inside attack by Volley Sports, this time by Brandy 
trying to get his name right. Sean Brandy on an inside attack. Left side attack. Off block. Volley Sports unable to handle it. Coach, I think it's a common theme that MMC is trying to play more on the outside, attack more on the outside in the first few goings, while Volley Sports is trying to attack the middle as well, yeah. Yes, they are. They're not setting their quick attacker, but they're sure running their outsides to the inside, which is proving to be fairly effective. Quick attack by Volley Sports, just when we say that they're not doing it. <laughs> Free ball to Volley Sports. Miscommunication, trying to run a crossing play, and easy point for MMC. Taking a quick 7-3 lead here in set one. This is a three sets, first one to three sets, five set match. Got to win 25 points, win by two. If it goes to a fifth set, it is a Set to 15 again, win by two. Again, mishandled the attack, mishandled on a quick attack by Volley Sports. They are down eight to three, timeout Volley Sports. As, uh, as the camera is um, zooming in on this timeout by Volley Sports, we see Volley Sports coach, Mr. Leem. He has been a long time coach of uh, many of these players. He has taught them since um, they started playing the sport in secondary school. And they've all, he has brought them up together, you know, trained them very well to be a very cohesive unit, to be competitive on such a high level of playing in the, in the men's open in Singapore. I think it's worth noting that they are the only team in this tournament who has defeated both ORD and Spico. So they have been playing some great volleyball at the right time, although they find themselves down 8-3 early in this first set. Outside attack, up the line. Good by Volley Sports. They always seem to dig themselves out of any hole that they, they are in, and that is something that has kept them on the top of um, Singapore's club volleyball for a long time. Joust on the net. Handled by Volley Sports. Attack, tip. Handled again by MMC. Off speed, lots of off speed happening here. And just a poor ball handling play by Volley Sports costs them the point. 9-4 MMC. So coach, as the players uh, make sure that the uh, the floor is dry. What do you think of the volleyball standard that we have here in Singapore? Uh, I think um, it depends on who you compare it with. I think we are closing the gap with the national teams here in Southeast Asia. Excited about the futures for both the men's program and the women's program. Off speed by Volley Sports catches MMC flat footed. You know, further on that, one of the things that, that we need to really work hard to do is on coach education, coach training, because this game has changed dramatically in the last 20 yes, years. Yes, it yeah. And a lot of high schools are still playing a game that was essentially played 20 years ago. What so, I see are some good athletes and some really good coaches. And... That's something, again, we want to provide as the VAS, we want to provide as Coach SG is up-to-date, uh, modern coaching methods. Yes, I think that there's a lot of potential and talent here in Singapore. Yes, there is. Just that there might have been a lack of some proper guidance throughout the years. So hopefully with your introduction into the volleyball scene in Singapore, the, the level of playing will, be, will increase in, in years to come. Very, well, very hopeful of that. <laughs> I enjoy Singapore very much. I mean, it's, it's a place with great food. Some of the friendliest people I have ever seen in all my world travels. And quick attack on the transition, cleaning up the mess for MMC. But it looks like we have a net, a net violation. Touch, yeah. 
both teams, neither team playing very clean volleyball right now. A lot of out of system plays. Lots of out of system, yeah. just a lot of sloppy play, but a lot of that could be nerves early on. Good yeah, set, quick attack yeah. by MMC. Good by number 17. And I don't see his number on our sheet. Number 17 would be um, Chen Bin. Ooh. Yes. Yes. There, Chen I looked Bin. at the wrong yeah. column. Thank that you, Caleb. That was a service ace. In Singapore, we call it the last pocket. Is that an international term as well? The last pocket? M meaning the four corners of the of the courts. <laughs> that is certainly not something I've heard yeah. in North America. <laughs> I'll have to admit that. Makes sense though. Makes yeah, the sense. last pocket. Yes. So a lot yeah. of us like to aim that area because <laughs> it's a very tricky place to, to see if the ball is in or out as well, you know. Well, if, if yeah. the defense is doing its job and being able to cut off those cross court, the ball should never get there. Definitely. That's my coaching philosophy. And we have a net violation on the attack by MMC. Giving an easy point to Volley Sports. MMC still ahead, 12-8 in this first opening set of this second semifinal. Coach, it seems that they're, they are committing a lot of um, unfors unforeseen errors. Yes. You know. Set all the way across, left side. Once again, another our system play and another. Got a ball handling error by Volley yeah. Sports. So. Probably nerves. I think, I think nerves. I yes. Mean, if you were a player and you just watch an exciting semi final that happened before you, you'd be eager to play, but you gotta, sometimes you've got to learn how to calm yourself down. Yes. Both of these teams actually, compared to the previous two teams in semi final one, are actually quite young. And maybe we're seeing that as a reflection of some of the sloppy play. Left side attack. Cross court, good by MMC. Chi Yu Chan, did I pronounce that correctly? That's right, coach. Is Chi it close Yu. enough, or is yeah, that good? It's good. Okay, Chi thank Yu. you, thank you, <laughs> thanks, Caleb. I have to apologize. I'll do a blanket, a blanket apology right now. My North American tongue doesn't always wrap around some of the Chinese sounds. Yeah, <laughs> if, if you're not used to the way that the, the names are pronounced, you might have some difficulty at the start. I can pronounce a Mexican name or a Latin <laughs> name easily. Yeah, <laughs> something that we would not be able to do yeah. as Asians. Yeah. I come here as a lover of Mexican food, and I didn't think any international food could match Mexican food, but I Until have to say Singapore, Singapore food. food, I love the hawkers. All right. Oh, man. Favorite place to eat. Why go to McDonald's when you can go to the Hawker? That's right, and it's much cheaper as well. Oh my, yes, yeah. you bet, you bet. And healthier. Oh, that is debatable. <laughs> debatable. Well, it depends on what you get. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> it's healthier than a Big Mac. Quick attack by Volley Sports. Off the MRT, MR, MRT. M See, <laughs> that is, okay, I am becoming Singaporean when I have yeah. that kind of slip. Off the you, MMC you, block. Yeah, have you realized that in Singapore, a lot of us like we use, we like to use abbreviations a lot. Oh, I have noticed that. Right. Singapore uses abbreviations as much as the American military does. Oh yes, all the, <laughs> which is all the time, practically. Yeah. You know, in semifinals yeah. one, we had a team called ORD, mm -hmm. which stands for One Resolute Dream. Okay. And then now there's MMC. Um, to be honest, I do not know what it stands for. I was hoping you would. I don't know either. I've been looking, actually. <laughs> yes, I've been looking as well. But there are a lot of different variations to what MMC stands <laughs> for. But no matter what they're called, they're actually they are putting out a very strong fight at the moment, currently leading the second semifinals by a score of 16 to 10. 16 to 10. Right side attack by Volley Sports. Handled by MMC. Attack blocked by Volley Sports. Back to the left side, this time, still kept alive, not yet. Tip attack by the setter, no good. Volley Sports on the attack, blocked by MMC. It's a lot of good ball handling, a lot of good coverage of attackers, some really good volleyball actually there, and Volley Sports or MMC coming out on top on the longest rally of the set so That's far. That's right. 
taking the score to taking their lead to seven points. Is there any coming back from this coach? Uh, well, I've been in this game long enough that yes, yes, it right. can happen, <laughs> but not very often. Yeah. <laughs> MMC on the serve into the net. I tell you, one of the things as a coach, as a player, after your team wins a long rally, it is very important mentally to get that next serve in. That's right. If not, it would be a demoralizing point. Yeah, you know, exactly. It brings the team back down to where they started. Yeah, all the benefit of winning a long rally is just given back. Transition attack by Volley Sports. Off speed, handled by MMC. Ooh. That's miscommunication on the part of M uh, Volley, Volley Sports, Sports. Yeah. further digging themselves into the hole on this first uh, this first and opening set on this second semifinal. Cool. So Volley Sports actually did a tactical substitution um, when their original starting setter was in the went to the back row. They sub in another an opposite spiker. So there are three attacks in the front court right now, but it's, it does not seem to be working at the moment immediately. Hopefully well, it works out better service, for them. Yes, service missed by MMC. <laughs> Countering with the side out kill off the serve from Volley Sports. Yeah, probably doing a double sub, which can help you both defensively and offensively. But like you said, it doesn't look like it's helping much. For you, now. For now, for, for now. now. <laughs> MMC on the miss serve again. That miss coming from Ronald Go. And right on cue, coach. The, um, the substitution back to the original opposite spiker and, op um, and the original setter. Back to status quo. I think that's a good, it was a good move on the part of the volley sports coach. His team is so far behind. He's got to try to do something to change it up. Definitely. So he, he, I think he did one of the things. He took a timeout. He then tried a su double substitution. A lot of the right things from my perspective as a coach. Of course. And the setter just got a uh, service ace, and he mm -hmm. went for the same spot again. Unfortunately, just an mm. inches out of the line. It looks to me like he tried. The phrase we use on the national team is surgical. Surgical. He went surgical on the first try, and it worked. All right. You can't go surgical two times in a row and expect a good result. It's what just does too hard. surgical mean, Surgical coach? means you go so, so precise All right. that there's literally no margin for error. I see. And it is difficult to play aggressive volleyball if all you're trying to be is surgical. So surgical is good, just not all the time. Exactly. There's a time and a place to be surgical. Set, high set into the middle. It's what we call a two set to number 17. And Chen Bin. Chen Bin. Hey, Chen Bin. And he leaves no doubt about that one. So that was not surgical, right? That was a high no, percentage point. No, that's just point. simply put the ball up in the air and I'm going to hit the ball hard where yeah. you're not. <laughs> Which was what we saw a lot in the, pre in the first semifinals where the, the setter from Spyko just put the ball in a very high spot for the outside hitters to manage it on their own. And I got to say, they, they managed it very well despite excellent blocking from ORD. I thought ORD did everything they could. They were th they, everybody in the building knew who the set was going to go to most of the time. And they even had uh, deployed triple block. Triple blocks. Yeah. And the uh, Spyco setters were just going over the top of it sometimes. Definitely. It was such Good, an exciting yeah, game. Yes. Good discipline attacking on the part of the Spyco attack. ORD hats off to them for just, I think, doing the right thing and just couldn't quite make the play. Definitely. And contrary to the semifinals that we're watching right now, it seems as if both teams are more varied in their points of attack. And it's quite hard to guess as a blocker who the ball might end up with. Yeah, and we're seeing some actually some rather poor serving right now. Right side attack by MMC, kill. Service errors, um, one of the things that should be eradicated from any team. I think any good team yeah. has got to hold. You've, 
the USA national team has a, the women's national team has an interesting uh, philosophy on serving. They serve what is called a fleen. That is a combination word, flat and clean. Flat and clean. clean. So everybody on the team knows what a fleen is. We use that term now here with our national teams in Singapore. We go fleen serving. The standard is they want it to be served in a lot. That's all okay. they say. A lot is basically about 90%, nine out of 10. Power spin serves need to go in at about 80%. Anything different than that is usually gonna end up, your team's gonna lose. And that's just a statistic that they have found out. Right side attack by MMC again, handled by Volley Sports. Now to the left side, blocked by Volley Sports. Not able to be controlled. Point Volley Sports. Score right now is, what are we looking at? 22. 23 to 18. 23 to 18. Now the angle of the scoreboard, I'm having a hard time seeing it. 23, yeah. 14. So earlier in the game, in the middle part, um, MMC had a lead of seven points. Volley Sports has cut that lead down to four points and hope to erase that lead even more as, as they look. But quite unsuccessful with that defense right now. It's very difficult, yes. Right side attack by MMC is good. Off the volley, volley Sports block, and they are now serving for set one. Quick attack. Handled by MMC. Swing for the set. And a net violation. Net violation gives MMC the set one. Set. Final score on set one is 25 people are in front of the scoreboard. I can't see it. 25 points to 19 in favor of 25, MMC. 19. Well, from your perspective, Caleb, what do you see in terms of what, what are the biggest needs that Singapore volleyball needs? To me, I feel that um, we we'll need more organizational support, uh, be in terms of the overarching uh, support given by the VAS, or even in schools as well, because sometimes um, as a student athlete, it's very hard for us to juggle um, studies as well as commitment to um, our sports. And in a educational um, heavy um, nation like Singapore, where a lot of emphasis is put on the, your educational qualifications, sometimes um, after, after um, playing for your institution, when you've graduated, you do not um, want to pursue a sporting career because that might not get you far, you know. So I think organizational support um, in terms of organizing um, very interesting competition formats like this one that we're having right now. Um, I think this is a tremendous format. Yes, I, I think, I think very Jerry Teo and, and a lot of people have receive a lot, should get a lot of credit for envisioning this definitely, and making this a reality. Definitely. So for, for players like me who do not commit full time to the sport, it's very interesting for us to continually um, keep ourselves fit and to meet up, to train um, for a prolonged period of time of the year if we make it far into the tournament. Volley Sports, handling the serve of MMC, gets the first point in set two. Left side attack, cross court, good. MMC with the quick attack. Miss hit, handled by Volley Sports. Quick attack again by MMC is good this time. Second time's a charm, I guess. Chen Bin has been quite effective in the early, early going of this, um, this match. Don't you think so, coach? Yes, he has. Number he 17 has. of MMC. And I think he can have a real effect. Off speed by Volley Sports. Pushed back over the net by MMC. 
Right side attack, attack blocked by MMC. Number 17, Chen Bin once again. So he has been proven very effective in offense and defense as this match goes along. Left side attack by Volley Sports goes, it is in, catches court. From here, it looked like it might be out, but I didn't have a good view of it. Linesman was right on it, didn't hesitate, nobody arguing. And coach, the ball hit the last pocket. <laughs> the sweet spot. Hit the sweet spot, the there you go. <laughs> Quick attack again by MMC, this time catches the net and ricochets out of bounds. So um, setting violation by MMC setter has given Volley Sports a 4-2 lead in this early going of the second okay. set. I fully expect Volley Sports to respond. Uh, that They were not themselves, I think, in set one from the Volley Sports teams that I have seen over the last several months. Yes, definitely. I think they just need some time to warm up, get you out together. And I think the best is yet to be. Yes. Right side attack, just handled, pushed over, left side by MMC, touch out. It looks as if MMC is um, um, breaking Volley Sports' first receive, um, causing them to be our system. And when Volley Sports is our system, they are not as effective as um, when they are in system. There's an inside attack by Volley Sports off the block of MMC. Taking a lead, five to four, here in set two. Volley Sports lost set one, 19 to 25. Just didn't look like themselves, but it looks like they're starting to get some rhythm. Coach, what do you think Volley Sport has to do in order to get themselves back into the game? Well, I think, uh, I think a, a, a basic, a basic thing in terms of how to win a volleyball match is you have to win the serve and pass game. Just as I say that, MMC just hits a ball, hits a nut to a serve it's a out of bounds. Free point. A free for point. Volley sports. You have to win the serve and pass game. The team that passes the weakest typically is the team that will lose. The opponent's service is the thing that indicates or that will create bad passing on the part. So, who can put the most pressure on a team in terms of serving and who can handle? The other team serving as a, as a good passing, so you've got to win the serve and pass game. That's what will determine who wins this match. That is what determined who won the previous the match. The first semifinals, yes. definitely. Mm -hmm. MMC on the serve. Setter attack by Volley Sports. Catches MMC flat footed. Volley Sports ahead, 7-6 in this second set. Left side attack, Volley MMC into that far pocket. Is that, would that be the right way to say it? The last pocket the last in pocket. Singapore terms. The yeah. last pocket, kind of like pool table. Pool table, yes, like the pool last table. pocket, yeah. Okay, learning something. <laughs> but I think, um, for the teams that you coach, you do not want them to be in this situation because the defense from a cross-court attack has to be tight-knit. Yes, it not, does. So, so they do not um, have to even guess whether the ball is going in and out. Yeah, any, any what we call long cross-court or far corner is what typically the term you far will corner, use. Far corner, yes. Far corner you will hear in North America. A ball should never penetrate the defense and get to the far corner. Good, strong line attack by Volley Sports. This seems to be working the past few points um, of our outside attack where they hit the line, down the line, quite a bit. Probably responding to how each team is setting up their block. Both teams appear to be blocking the cross court. That attack cross court 
and blocked by Volley, Volley Sports. Sports. And that got the Volley Sports bench going, certainly. Yes. Volley Sports on the serve. Boy, that was that was a messy point. But of course, the net when a serve tips the net, who knows what can happen? And in that case, definitely. Um, in Singapore, we have also a saying that goes: no matter what happens, even if it's a bad action that you do, so long as we win a point, it's a good action. It's a good uh, but action. But in the long run, it's not a good thing to <laughs> to believe in. <laughs> MMC trying to go line, responding again to the fact that uh, Volley Sports is trying to block the cross court, but this time the attacker hits the antenna, out of bounds, point Volley Sports. They are now up 11 to 8. Long shoot set, or gap set as we call it, to MMC. Great set, great attack. And once again, nine. it's uh, MMC number 17, Chen Bin, who got the point for them. He's carrying a heavy offensive load, doing a nice job. Right side, Volley Sports. Off-speed, cuff shot, cross court, good. MMC unable to, to see that attack coming. Good smart shot by, uh, by Volley Sports. And uh, the attacker noticed that he only had one blocker on him. So he had more lines to attack, deeper lines that maybe caused him to win that point. Cross court by MMC. Unable to be handled by the defender, by the digger with Volley Sports. 12-10, Volley Sports ahead, MMC on the service. Bad pass, free ball to MMC. Free ball not handled. Big attack by MMC into the net. Free point for Volley Sports. So as we were talking about a serve pass game, there was a bad uh, passing sequence from both teams. Both teams. Both teams. Left side. Attack on the left side by the left-hander. Quick attack by Volley Sports with the kill. That certainly got the entire team, including the bench, going. Pushing it out to a four-point lead. 14-10 for Volley Sports. Again, perfect pass. Net violation by Volley Sports. Blocker lifting his arms, clipping the net. Easy call for the down official. Are these errors tolerated in your system, No, coach? they are not tolerated. This stuff gets you beat. The only way you survive it is if the other team makes the same number of mistakes. Oh, and yes. to beat anybody good, they're not going to be making those mistakes. Definitely. Again, so how do you train discipline when it comes to blocking? Well, it's hand motion. We, we train what we call swing blocking. And great attack up the line by MMC and unable to be handled by the line digger of Volley Sports. Again, both teams blocking cross court, the, what we call the seam cross court angle, giving attackers line and, ooh, that was a nice combination. Again, MMC not really knowing what to do with that combination. Did they not even have a blocker to block it? Didn't right. you have a blocker to block it, no. When we were playing against Volley Sports, um, this situation happened more than what we wanted it to happen. And um, I think that what, that's what caused us to lose in the end. Hmm. Mark, a lot of combination plays from the Volley Sports team. Well, the only way to run a combination play is if the pass or the dig is back what we call in system. In system, that definitely. Is at least within two meters of the net, somewhere in the center zone of the net. And that will only be the way to play multiple combination yes. attacking styles. Yes. Both teams really struggling with first contact, um, making setters have to work a lot. Yes. And as a setter myself, um, 
sometimes it's very hard to control such situations. <laughs> you just got to do your job That's and right. to be there for the team, you know, because sometimes your set, my sets are not um, on point as well, and the spikers got to cover my back. That's right. So this is the well, wonder of volley sports because it's the ultimate team game, right? It is. I love volleyball. That's I think that's one reason I ended up going into volleyball. It is the ultimate team game. There is no such thing like in basketball, for example, if we don't like or we're not sure what the defense is, we can kind of pull it out and reset. Once that pass is made off that serve, everybody... It's committed. You're That's committed. Right. And Something's going to happen. Yeah, you only have yes. a split second to make a decision what to do with the situation on yes, court. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We got the floor wipe up delay tactic here. Now, there could very well have been sweat on the floor, but it does certainly slow games down. Got a block by Volley Sports, uh, by uh, MMC, Jordan Wong. 16-year-old on the senior men's national team in on that block for MMC. Wong on the set to the outside, out of system. Great line attack by MMC in the transition. And that was a beautiful set by the opposite hitter mm -hmm. to in the out-of-system play. Well, Jordan is a pleasant surprise played against him in a scrimmage when I first got here. Uh, our national team scrimmaged some of the clubs, the men's clubs, and Jordan was on MMC. And I saw him, and then I, I was told that he was, he's only 16 years old. And I thought, 16, with that kind of ability and that kind of potential, he needs to be in the national team pipeline. And we were able to get him into a tryout and and he is just getting better every single practice. Excited for his future. He's a coach's dream player to coach, more or less. Yes, he is. Well, both of his parents are high-level coaches, so yes, they definitely. understand what an, what an elite athlete goes through. So for those who do not know, Jordan's father is actually one of Singapore, Singapore's most beloved athletes. He has won multiple throwing gold medals at the SEA Games and even the Asian Games. So I think that... Um, he has very good role models to follow in his sporting career. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Again, very sloppy ball handling on the part of both teams results in a point for Volley Sports. Currently down 15-12. So MMC adopted the double substitution tick as well. And it is hopefully helping them in the near future. <laughs> Overpass by MMC. Volley Sports back on the attack. Off speed. MMC on the attack. Jordan Wong, left side. Not yet. Volley Sports, number one. See, is that is that number one? I can't see. Is number nine? Is it number nine? Yes, I think number nine. Royston Un, yeah. with a fantastic On cue kill in to, between two. To clean that, that mess up. <laughs> Again, poor pass by Vol uh, MMC. Off speed, punched in the air by Volley Sports. Given back to MMC. Set to the left side. Jordan Wong. Blocked. Jordan Wong's on the line, a little that the block was out. Yeah. In fact, from our vantage point, it looked like it might have caught the line. But he was. I like his idea of trying to go hard line. High line is a difficult ball to try to defend. Trying to do the right thing. And after a fantastic block, this service ever just sends the team back a few pieces. Yeah. It just. It affects a team emotionally. After a great play, it is important to go back and stick a serve, not miss a serve. Definitely. So with this subject, you know, I have a coach who, used, who once told me that if you serve a ball out on your service, you might as well just put a chair right down there because the team would have won even with the chairs and opponents. 
Okay, we have... There is some question now in terms of what's going... Okay, we had a substitution. Volley Sports leading 21-16 now. Closing in on tying this match up. One set apiece. Ball tipping the net. Handled by MMC. Jordan Wong with the kill. What a fantastic cue in between two blockers. Splitting it, hitting it high, hitting high seam. And Volley Sports unable to handle it. He's certainly making his impact known on this game. Well, every time he goes to practice, he goes up against the best players in the country here. And under excellent coaching as well by yourself. Well, I, he is a joy to coach. Right side, handled, set by Jordan Wong. Left side, great dig. MMC, right side, Jordan Wong. Just outside, hitting it deep. He just missed the last pocket, coach. <laughs> just missed the last pocket. Last I pocket. will. I'm going to remember that term. I like that term, last pocket. I I loved. We had a we had a pool table when I was growing up at home, yeah. and so I like the idea of pockets. The pockets, yes, yes definitely. That makes a lot of sense. Got to put the ball in the pocket. And after a mistake by MMC, Volley Sports comes back and hits the serve out of bounds. 22-18, Volley Sports, set two, closing in on the possibility of tying this, this match up at one set apiece. Out of system pass by Volley Sports, tip, given to MMC, set, quick set. Handled by Volley Sports. Again, attack, cross court. Doug, left side, touch out. MMC gets the point. 22 19. And after a hard fought point. Give the storyline of this of game this. continues. Yes, making a service mistake. What is the score? Um, 23 to 19. 23 to 19. Volley Sports in the lead, and they give another point. They're 23 just exchanging to 20. Service mistakes right now, coach. If you were right there in the bench, what would you do in such a situation? I would hope that the training would take over. And we have a service error now by MMC, giving Volley Sports set point, 24-20. I'll finish that thought. And we have another miss serve by Volley Sports, 24-21. So that makes it four service errors in a row by both teams combined. But Volley Sports is not complaining as they still hold a three-point advantage. Inside set. Volley Sports finally finishes this. Frankly, putting both teams out of their misery. That's right. 25-21. Now it gives them a chance to regroup yes. with directions from the, both their respective coaches. So now it is essentially a two out of three set match with both teams pulling a set apiece. Neither team looking sharp. I'm looking at the, um, the, the ORD team as they're sitting and watching and can't help but wonder what's going through their minds right now, saying if we could have just won that, closed them out, two sets to none lead. Neither Volley Sports nor MMC look like they can they could they're in the class right now of Definitely. an ORD but it is what it is I think a lot of them are my friends and I think I would I would actually take it back to last week where they played the final group game against Volley Sports they lost that match I think three games to two or three games to three one games to one to yes. one yeah and that caused them the top placing of the group hence they had to face the top place of the other group which is Spiko. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, they, they came out against a brick wall then. 
I think that's a great point you make. Uh, in effect, it looks right now like maybe, we say it carefully, but maybe the championship was won in the first. We don't want to get out. We don't want to get yes. ahead of ourselves. You never know. But a lot of observers thought that the first semifinals was actually the potential finals yes. for Series 2. Yes. But the ball is round and anything can happen, Coach. That's exactly right. Okay. Great rally going here. Volley Sports finally finishing it. Right side attack. Cross court in the heart of the MMC defense. And that all starts with great defense from Volley Sports. Yeah. Number one, Brandy. I think MMC playing defense too close to the lines, too deep. Most balls are going to land in the middle of the court. And just as we said it, MMC spiked the ball right in the middle of the middle court. Of the court. With yes. Volley Sports not being able to get it up. Mm -hmm. MMC on the serve. Perfect pass. Quick attack by Volley Sports. Block back. Overpass handled by MMC. Taking a quick 2 1 lead in this third set. Left side attack, Volley Sports. Pass set, kill. 2 2. Just to finish the thought on the serving, when teams start missing serve, one thing you kind of jokingly can say sometimes, if it's because everybody is tense, is maybe tell a little joke. One joke I like to tell back in the U.S., and I've done it a couple times here, is there's, like in the U.S., it's a 30 foot by 30 foot square. All right. Internationally, it's nine meters by nine meters, 81 square meters. I will say, hey, there's 81 square meters there. You can land a helicopter in there. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> left side attack by the left hander from MMC. But going back to your point of being tense and cracking a joke to make things better, I, I think I subscribe to that philosophy as well. Because when you're more in a more relaxed and comfor comfortable stage, you kind of play better. Yes, right? you do. Yes, you do. Okay, blocked by Volley Sports on the off speed. Volley Sports is slowly but surely getting into their form, their full potential as they lead the third set by five points to two. Yes, I think their consistency, uh, some of their training is beginning to take, take effect. High set into the middle, off the block by Volley Sports, MMC answering back. Perfect pass, inside attack again by Volley Sports. Wonderful MMC. set and cue yes. right there. MMC not able to get in front of the attack. Volley Sports on the serve. Perfect pass, right side attack. Dug by Volley Sports. Out of system, just pushed on over. Right side attack again by MMC. Pancaked back up by Volley Sports. Unfortunately, that ball did not go over did with not that. Go over. Hail Mary heave. Yes. We should probably tell the people what a what the viewers what a pancake is. It is a desperation move, full extension by the defender. They put their hand flat on the floor underneath the ball. And if the ball lands on the hand, it'll actually pop up high enough for another defender to possibly get underneath it. Free ball to Volley Sports. Quick attack. Miss hit, but still goes for point. Any point is a good point. Any point is a good point. They don't qualify them by style points. That's right. And that has given them a lead. Seven points to four. So coach, for something, a technique like pancake, are you able to train it or is it more instinctive rather than 
offense. You, you train the technique, and then when the opportunity or when the situation occurs, you can reinforce pancake was good in that situation or good job with the pancake. It needs to be a last ditch desperation kind of play, full extension on the floor. Other than the result of Pancake's being slow to react <laughs> to, to uh, drop may ball. Be, that yeah. may be why you're late and you know it, it could be that you're looking at the wrong thing. A lot yes, of definitely. volleyball is about vision and seeing the right things at the right time and then knowing how to respond. Definitely. You know, there's the six basic skills in volleyball. Pass, set, hit, dig, serve, and uh, Blocking. block. Speaking of blocking, great block by Volley, Volley Sport and actually blocked into the face of one of the MR, uh, MMT MMC spikers. spikers. Almost said MRT again. <laughs> wow. I'm becoming a Singaporean. Long serve. Missed the last pocket. Last pocket. Yes. <laughs> Singapore coach, the more abbreviations you will learn off, like the expressways, we have a couple of half a dozen of expressways who are all in abbreviations as well. In the US, an overpass in Singapore is a flyover. Flyover, yes. yes. Nine to seven. To seven. Gap attack by Volley Sports. Covered. And the outside attack after the cover. Successful Volley Sports. Volley Sports up 10-7. Pass, set, inside attack, covered by Volley Sports. Left side, up the line by Volley Sports. Two consecutive spike cues from Volley Sports number nine, Royston Woon. So one of the most difficult attacks to try to defend is the attack that is attacked high and deep up the line. It forces blocks to have to be near perfect. And Volley Sports is beginning to do that more and more versus MMC. The good recycle by MMC. Giving the ball, though, to, uh, to Volley Sports. Attack. It's three straight attacking points for Royston right now. He's getting on a streak. And right on cue, MMC calls a timeout, hopefully to to ice Volley Sports in the yes. attack. Yes, up 12-7. Again, their consistency is beginning to take over. Definitely. That is the, the nature of a lot of, of, of the teams that Mr. Liam coach actually um, have. They're just a very united, cohesive unit. It's, it will take another team who plays exceptionally to break the defense, break that unity up. Yes, yeah. Well, I think that's a it's an important part that a coach plays is they are the ones that help to set the culture of a team. And uh, when you have a strong culture, your team is resilient. Players are resilient. And those are the kinds of teams that win close matches. As far as having the mind to make changes during the match yes. from the initial game plan that one might have. Coming out of the timeout, touch out by MMC. Service, MMC. Got a power spin, overpass. Still handled though by Volley Sports. Calling for the touch, but no touch signal by the lines person, point MMC. And after that time, now oh, two quick points from MMC to close the gap to now just three points. And the service going out by MMC. So they had some momentum going, didn't they? But they did. They definitely did. 
So, Coach, what do you think of the potential of the young players that we have, we have here in Singapore? I mean, right. recently you took a uh, team to the Asian Volleyball Championships. Yes, we did. And, and I think that the results were pretty, pretty good, decent, uh, considering the, the amount of time that they've been training together and all. Well, considering the amount of time that we were training, yes. Considering, actually, we are giving up. We gave up at least five inches with a CM being, I think, at about 2.5 something per inch, CMs per inch, five inches of height and at least five years of experience to everybody we played. So when you look at that, I was really, really pleased with what our guys did. We had the near miss. We had we had Australia. Yes, I heard about the Australia, Australia match. Australia match was just tremendous, and we had opportunities possibly to win it. But it, again, it was it's lack of international experience and just lack of experience. Period. Being as young as we were, and the experience of the Australians began to take over late in that one. As even though we were in a position to possibly win that match, uh, that had been a tremendous match for for Singapore to win. Right. Um, so the one thing you were alluding to earlier, Caleb, is that we have got to figure out a way for Singapore national team players after they finish university, after they finish their education, to be able to continue to play on the national teams. Because that's what even in Southeast Asia, everybody is doing. That is right. Average that is ages right. are 26, 27, 28. Our average age is 19, 20. We've got to change that as we continue to close the gap. And we are closing the gap. We are closing the gap. Just as how MMC is trying to close the gap, yes. but unfortunately not so right now. <laughs> MMC tip on volley sports into that, what I call the open hole. Open hole. The hole. That <laughs> short hole. The short hole. Has got to be... <laughs> Uh, just like we're talking about that pocket, last pocket, last yeah, yeah. pocket, the sh the the short, the short hole there yes. has got to be covered. That's a very vulnerable place, and teams can't allow teams to tip out of Definitely. the kind of pressure that volley sports had already had put on the uh, on the the MMC team. Yeah. They so have closed the gap, though, haven't they? They have, but it's still. Um a long shot at six points. Mm -hmm. They need a very good service, defense, to climb back up point by point. Right side attack, touch out by the the right side volley sports attacker. Again, high line, just doing the little things really well, making it difficult for the blockers to. Yeah to defend that spike. It's not a spectacular play, but it's a play that winning teams do. Yes. Do the unspectacular mm -hmm. things. And they do it a win, lot. Yes, and yes. win the game ultimately. Yes. So you were talking about how to um, bring, con allow players to continue even after their university studies in the national team. Mm -hmm. What about players who have to serve the national service? Because well, that, in Singapore, it's a very tricky business. Um, and having that break right while they are rising, their potential and their training might deter them from reaching the fullest potential that they once could have you know, reached. I think the, the, the national service requirement, it is what it is. And we're not going to really change that much. So we work around it. But that's only, we have a number of guys in national service on, on our men's senior team right now. When they initially go in, we don't see them for three months. We know that. Yes, okay? yes. But three months compared to a career of five, six, seven, eight, nine years on the national team should not matter at all. I see. And we have guys that make our Friday and Saturday trainings and sometimes even our Monday trainings, and they're still in their national service. So it is something we can clearly work with. The thing that is hard is when... Players think that when I graduate from university, my career is done. We have got to keep them in the pipeline and yes, continue to grow of course, them. Definitely. That's the bigger challenge, I think. And it takes um, two hands to clap, right? It Commitment takes two hands. from the organization, 
uh, association and commitment from the players themselves. That's great pursuit play by MMC there. Unfortunately, goes for not. Actually, no. It looked like to me there was a net violation, but nothing called. And uh, it is MMC's ball. 2014, still down. Not able to really close the gap on Volley Sports. Quick attack on the floor. Volley Sports, 21. Volley Sports is still riding the high from the win from the previous set. And MMC has not been able to get the rhythm required no. to get back into the game thus far. I think rhythm is a good word to use right now with Volley Sports. They are just pretty well. They're just making the little plays, staying in points. Okay, net violation by Volley Sports gives the point to MMC. That was a pity because Volley Sports would have won that point because the ball was spiked out. Yes, it was. So once again, coming back to the net blocking discipline. Discipline is yes. the little things that actually the little things end up making the game simpler to play. If the game is simple, it is repeatable. It is consistent. Simple is consistent. Simple is repeatable. Volley Sports doing that right now. Definitely. Inside set, Volley Sports blocked by MMC. Twenty-one sixteen, closing the gap. Left side attack. Again, Volley Sports. Off speed, handled by MMC. Left side, MMC, blocked by Volley Sports. Great job getting to the point of attack in that transition play uh, by Volley Sports. Resulting in a point, 22-16, Volley Sports ahead. Just three more points to wrap up the second set. Oh, uh, sorry, a third set. Third set, rather. yes. And to have a two to one set lead over MMC. But Good still a long way serve. to go. Left side, great attack. Boy, decent that was defense. <laughs> decent defense, but that was thunder by, was by MMC. Almost handled by Volley Sports. Wow. That was some serious heat there. Yes, there was. Which we saw a lot of in the first semifinals. Yes, we did. It's a more yes, technical match, the second, second semifinal. And Volley Sports comes back with heat of their own. Yes. High line, cracking the seam of the MMC block point. Which, which MMC has not been able to overcome throughout this match. Right side attack. Up the line by MMC. Despite the excellent spiking and blocking from Chen Bin, the number 17 of MMC, it is, he has not been able to pull them back to two to three points to give them a fighting shot yeah, to get back in this set. It may be a little bit, a little too little too late. Too little too late a yes. serve on the part of MMC, bringing a timeout to Volley Sports. Coach probably doesn't like really what he's seeing. He's probably sensing a let up. Maybe an emotional let up or a mental let up on the part of Volley Sports, feeling like and, and understandably yeah. that they have this this Maybe set under control. It's well. complacent. That's yes. the word. You cannot let, as a coach, you cannot let complacency get a foothold into your team. And he's snipping it at the butt before he gets it. too much. Exactly. You've got to nip it. That's a veteran coach move, I think. Yeah. He's a very experienced coach we have no. here in Singapore. Have you had a chance to work with him? I have not really had a chance to work with him, but I have seen he coaches a number of teams here in Singapore, and oh, I yes. am impressed with every team he coaches. Yes. He does a very good job. Bad pass, out of system. Volley Sports again, giving up a cheap point. We're now looking at 23-20. Points really not earned by MMC, but given by Volley Sports from my, right. my, my 
observation. It seems as if momentum has swung yes, it is. To MM in MMC's favor. Right side, poor set, covered, left side attack again. Poor set by Volley Sports. Giving the ball back to MMC. Poor set, blocked, but in the net by Volley Sports. Again, another, what I would have to say, mental mistake. Yes, when I think you, he, he was too excited to make that block and his hand just touched the net afterwards. I think it was a net violation. 23-21, MMC back in this set. Right side attack. Handled by MMC. Blocked. What do we have here? Blocked by Volley, Volley Sports. Sports. Puts them, giving them set points. Serving for the set, 24-21. A lot of volleyball play here going on where the ball is just tight on the net. That's right. That is the worst place to play, try to play, play, play a clean game of volleyball is tight on the net. Definitely. And number two for Volley Sports, Anwar right now trying to serve for the match. Out of system pass. Attack by MMC. Great attack by the left-hander, number nine. Lim Shenzhen. Keeping them in the set. 24-22. MMC serving. And without any blockers, there was an easy spike to make. It, easy it was. To Volley make. Sports. Serve received to win the set. Right side attack. Up the line. Get the job done. 25-22. Volley Sports, I have to say, backs into the win. That's right. To take a two sets to nothing Lead. Two sets to one lead. Two sets to one there. lead. Thank you. I think this this long break in between sets will give them some time to get their composure back together before they regroup and get back onto the court where for the most part of the second and third sets, um, the momentum seems to be with them until the last part of the third set where it seems an air seems to have gone out of the team yeah. a little bit. Yeah, you are absolutely right. We want to give a shout out to our sponsors, XS Energy Drink. Um, it is it is one of the best energy drinks I've ever drank, and I'm not a big fan, frankly, of energy drinks, but this one is different. This is good. And our title sponsor, Neo Group, uh, we thank you so much for all that you do. Uh, for volleyball here in Singapore. And for those people who are not here, we would want to invite you to come tomorrow and watch some great volleyball. The championship, men's championship, is going to take place at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. The women's championship takes place at 5 o'clock tomorrow night with third place matches, women at 3, a 1, and the men at, at, at uh, 3 o'clock. Free admission, come down and watch some of the best volleyball in Singapore, best players in Singapore. I think the best part of all you said was the free word. Free. Because Singaporeans really love things that are free. Hey, free is so a great price. Yes, it is. Who can complain with free? So make your way down to our Tampanese Hub tomorrow in that, those timings and watch some exciting volleyball matches as number 17 of MMC made, just did a fantastic block once again. Volley Sports comes out, runs what we call an X play, doesn't fool MMC, big block. Good way to start a set. And a set that they definitely have to take down in order to survive and make the finals. Set outside the antenna, causing off-speed by Volley Sports. Blocked by Volley Sports in the transition for MMC. One point apiece. Both teams blocking the other. So just a reminder for those who did not tune in for the first semifinals earlier, the winner of this semifinal would um, face um, Team Spyco in the finals tomorrow at 7 p.m. It will be, be a hard battle to fight, but it will definitely be an exciting match. So do come on down to the Our Tempanese Hub and join us then to catch the finals of Series 2 of the Men's Open right here in Singapore. Service by MMC. Out of system set. Handled by uh, MMC. Throw the attempt at the off speed. 
is some controversy here. Is it in or is it out? Lines person is signaling out. Up official has signaled in. It looks like it is in. Line attack, high line attack by Volley Sports. Single block, point Volley Sports. Coach, if that was an international match and you were the coach of Volley Sports, would you have called for a video challenge? I may have challenged, especially this being the fourth, the fourth uh, set. I, I would have probably called for Definitely. a challenge. I see. That is if the guys on the team, and they have to be honest, the kids on the team, they have to be honest. When you look and you say, do you think it was in or out, what, do you, what happened? They have to say yes or no. But uh, is it worth to, to yeah, risk that challenge? Because you don't challenge. want to lose that challenge. Definitely. Because you only get two of those a set. I love the challenge system. I think it, it, it really brings some, uh, some, some good result. It, you hate to win something you don't earn. Definitely. Yeah. It's pretty similar to the VAR system that they're using in um, soccer right now as well. Well, one of the things that we were able to do up in a, at the Asian Champions Club Championships, we were the experiment for all of FIVB volleyball on a new challenge system that uses cards. cards and if okay. you, for example, are, are, are challenging a, uh, a line call, you hold up the line card. If you are challenging a net call, you hold up the net card. The signal is always the same. You just, you just you trace like, the square with your hand, your right. fingers, and then uh, then you hold up the card, the five different kinds of challenges. You pick that and you tell them exactly what it is. Does this um, help the, the referees to know exactly what you're trying to challenge? Yes, it is. It's very clear, it's very quick. I think it's efficient. And uh, I thought the, uh, the AVC did a great job of making challenges entertaining to the fans. I see. Yeah, so they there played was the, the big old television screens. Yo, and yes, and everybody's hanging on. Of course, then they've got the kiss cam going, and they've got all, all right. the fan cam going and everything. And until the actual call is made, they were playing the old I Spy um, theme song. Oh, yeah? Yeah. To kind of, you know, to to get some noise going so it's not a quiet gym. And people were loving it. They were up, they're dancing, they're, you know, then the kiss cam happens or the fan cam happens. And it was really actually gone, oh good, there's a challenge. Yeah. You know, as opposed to typically, oh no, there's a challenge. Yes. It was, it was good, it was so really good. So we actually look forward to contentious calls. Yes, oh <laughs> yes, yes. We need some of the entertainment here in Singapore scene no. right now. Well, we have an ace serve by MMC on volley sports. So both teams, neither team playing particularly sharp. But the consistency typically of, of uh, volley sports does appear to give them a bit of an edge. Blocked by MMC. Cover by, though, by volley sports. Left side, volley sports. MMC on the counterattack. Quick attack, Volley Sports, and we have a net violation, Volley Sports. Eight, six. Oh, net violation on MMC. MMC. Okay. From net our angle, it's quite hard to tell. Yeah. The reaction of the Volley Sports player suggested to me that there was a, he, he felt guilty, you know. Definitely. Yeah. He got away okay. with that probably. Okay. Great high swing off hands by the MMC right side attacker. Left hander. Good smart attack. I've played with him a couple of times. What's his a, name? His name is Shen Zheng. He's Good player. a very hard player to block just because of his left hand when he plays outside spiker. The lines that you have to cover are very different from the lines that you cover for right-handed spiker. You are correct, you're, at, Caleb, you're absolutely right. I think one thing when he's in rotation one, which means that that left-hander is out on the left side, yes. it is important to block the line against the left-hander because they have to then hit the ball across their body. Yes. So and it has to go across the block, very, very difficult. Deep, a very deep yes. cross-court shot. One foot improvised attack, great play by number 10, MMC. Ronald, 
Ronald Go. Ronald Go, that's a good play uh, and uh, brings a tie. Both teams tied here in set four with Volley Sports up two sets to one. Got some sweat being picked up off the ground, wiped up off the ground. Is there sweat or not? Who will know? A nice serve. Left side attack, handled by MMC. MMC back off high hands. Skipping hands, number 10 again. Great play by him. Going off the top of the volley, volley sports block. Well formed block by volley sports. Attacked smartly by, by MMC. And after a good play, MMC serves just the ball it away. out of bounds. Yeah. Emotionally, just a difficult roller coaster to try to handle by, by even great players. Definitely. Good pass. MMC, Volley Sports running it down. Free ball back to MMC. Quick attack again. Handled by Volley Sports. Transition left side. Just dribbles it off the block. Point, Volley Sports. Good, smart attack. He was not able to really get a good approach, so he did about the only play he could, and that was just try to, to do a wipe or push yes. off block. Yeah. Smart play by Volley Sports. And it turned out well. Yes, it did. Yes, yes it did. Giving them a one-point advantage right now. Left side, MMC. Too hot to handle by Volley Sports. We are tied at 10 apiece. Fourth set, Volley Sports up, two sets to one. Winner advancing to play Spyco for the championship of Series 2. Loser playing ORD in the third place match tomorrow here at our Tampanese hub. Come on down, admission is free tomorrow to see some great volleyball. So this venue that we're in right now, Coach, and in recent years has been the sense, the hub of a lot of um, high, high sporting actions. Um, last year, two, two world-class um, floorball teams came to play a match here, and it was a sold-out crowd mm. that we had here in this hub. So hopefully tomorrow during the finals, we, might, we, we can hope for such an atmosphere as well comparable to that night that would be tremendous that would that would be fantastic i know singapore loves its volleyball yes. it is one of the most popular sports played in singapore and if you want to see the best players in the country as well as some great international players rare opportunity come on down and watch great volleyball here that's right and coach, maybe we'd like to inform our viewers what's in store if uh, for the winners of the Series 2 tomorrow. Well, the winners, that actually the top four finishers of Series 2 get to advance to what we call Series 3. That will take place in July. And there will be four Singapore teams, the top four teams in Singapore, plus four teams internationally coming in to play so as well. international teams will come to Singapore. There will be four international teams that will come to Singapore as well. So it's going to be high level, high intense volleyball. Rare opportunity to see international volleyball here in Singapore. Definitely. And it's going to raise the bar of the volleyball standards here in Singapore tremendously. Yes, it will. As we get exposed to um, even better players, better styles of playing from uh, around the region. Yes, absolutely. I think I'm excited for that. I, I can't wait for, for Series 3 to happen. And that's going to happen both for the men and for the women. I would definitely take up on that um, free offer to watch the <laughs> matches then. <laughs> Great counterattack by MMC after the unsuccessful quick attack by by uh, volley sports and we are looking at a 13 12 lead by mmc now this set has been um a pretty consistent momentum um swing on both sides 
they, they that it doesn't seem to have a they, they doesn't seem to have a team that is um, outright in in the in nobody, the driver's seat right now. No, nobody is really taking charge of it. But I think the level of play has gone up a little bit from set one in, Definitely. in particular. Yeah. When it seems as if they're just trying to warm their bodies yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's also because they're try they they have a better feel of the opponents right now, their tendencies, and uh, trying to take advantage of their weaknesses. Yes, definitely. Volley Sports with a lollipop serve, quick attack blocked by Volley Sports. Quick attack on the part of MMC, easy serve. MMC running what should typically be a high percentage quick attack blocked by Volley Sports. And the emotions from the blocker right out there just shows you why <laughs> we play this sport. That's right. It's for moments like these. There is that left side attack, or the left side left handed attacker. And he's able to push and get a cross court kill. And there was a very deep cross court kill as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Near to the three meter attacking line. Good push play by him. Nice smart veteran move left side volley sports dug by Vo uh, mmc right side volley sports off the top off the hands of the mmc block volley sports now with a slim 15 14 lead here in set four Lollipop serve again. Neither team serving particularly hard, but that that attack going wide. That seemed like the very ambitious attack from the left-handed spiker. Actually missed badly. Yes. Left side again. Giving it to him again. Blocked by Volley Sports. Seventeen fourteen volley sports beginning to extend the lead out to three. Overpass. MMC kill volley sports. Just as we were saying that there's no one in the driver's seat. Volley sports took took the, the level of playing up a notch and putting a lot of tremendous pressure on MMC right now. Yes, they have. And they just I mean they just now went on a 4-0 run. Um, consistent teams will go on runs like this against teams that struggle with consistency. That is the mark of a consistent team is all of a sudden there's a run. And it only takes, the teams that win are the ones that have the most three-point runs. That's kind of a, kind of a data thing that, right. that they have found internationally as well as just in the game of volleyball. If you can get, if you can put together three-point runs more three-point runs than your opponent, you're winning the match. I see. You're winning it. You're going to win that set. That's a nice statistic to have right here in Singapore. I think maybe Singapore's volleyball scene um, might actually do well with a, status, a statistical approach to the game as well. We are using a strong statistical approach on the national teams, and it is. I think it is a major reason why we have been improving at the rates we have. Mm. Players know why. They know, they know why. They know that, 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 that informs them on the know-how. Yes. And it's easy to be motivated when you know why, and you know the why is a very sound reason why. Yes. And so, it's right there on paper telling you, right? It is, yes. Yes, it is. And the statistical mm -hmm. approach has helped a lot of professional teams, international teams around the world, get an edge over their opponents. Yes. So we hope that that, that would help the Singapore well, national team as well, we make leaps and bounds in exactly. improvements. There is combo play by um, Volley Sports, handled by MMC, quick gap attack. Again, handled by MMC, overpass, handled by MMC. Counter attack, MMC, handled by Volley Sports. And Volley Sports now off the top of the MC, M MMC block. Some great volleyball there, actually, and but Volley Sports continues to come out on top on these long rallies. That's right, and that was a very nice rally from both sides. Mm -hmm. Closing in on a possible four-set win. Definitely, and with that four-set win, that would guarantee them a place in the finals. Yes, that tomorrow. would, against Spyko. 
One thing to note when we're talking about statistics, going back to that conversation, the value of statistics, because so much takes place in this game, is that it takes your eye, the coach's eye, to what they should be looking at and how they can best help their team. Okay. Off the top of the block, handled by Volley Sports. Free ball, Volley Sports to MMC. What can they do with this ball? Right side attack, left side, blocked by Volley Sports. What a valuable point that was for Volley Sports. Ticking them to within just five points of the win of this 20 match. 20 to 15, Volley Sports in a commanding lead right now. Can they close it out? There was a waste of opportunity from MMC's side as well mm -hmm. after a free ball. Yeah, free ball. Yes. You block with a double block. Okay. Overpass. Volley Sports on the counter. Kill. Cross court. Six point lead. Four away from moving into the championship match versus Spyco. 21 15. Volley Sports. And as always in the match, a lot of combination plays enable them to just have one blocker, giving them more lines of attack to win that point. Timeout taken by MMC. So coach, if you were the, the coach of MMC right now, what would be the, the strong point that you drive at them in this very moment? I think uh, number one, they have to get this next point. And so we would come out with a plan for that next point. The other thing is that we try to settle them down and tell them one point at a time, rather than them looking at the end of the set, how far they go, they need to stay and they need to look. The short goal is each point. And let's just let's stay steady, let's stay steady, and we can get ourselves back into this. That I would be something so probably what I would right say. right now, just hearing what you, <laughs> what you just said. <laughs> let's hope the MMC responds well after okay. this timeout. Good pass, set, attack, and they do. Great pass, set, hit, left side, MMC to get that side out. 21-16, still down five to Volley Sports. And they just uh, substituted the setter number 18 in. So we might be seeing a three-point attack from MMC. Transition. Off the block, controlled by Volley Sports. Gap attack by Volley Sports, kill. 22-16, three points away. So coach, as Volley Sports inch ever so closer to the finals tomorrow, would you think that you'll be exciting finals between Volley Sports and Spyco? I think it's, I think it's gonna be a great final, actually. I think it's gonna be a really good final because what you've got is the steadiness of of volley sports versus the explosive limited dimensional attack right. by Spyco. Spyco. Can volley sports control the two attackers of Spyco? If they can, I think they are more steady. So it could be, it's gonna be a very interesting championship match. That is if they in fact can get this match won. Yes. And they're inching just to two points from winning this set and this match. 23-17. Perfect pass set. MMC says not yet. They're not giving up yet. Great attack, cross court kill. Back to serve. 23-18. So server, server right now, Ronald Go. He's, he's gonna jump, he has to jump serve for nine points to bring them back into the match. Off speed, picked up by Volley Sports. Push back over, high attack, into that short hole. Gotta roll the hole is the phrase we use. That right, that, that left side back court attack uh, defender has gotta see that open locked arm and has gotta move up and make sure that that ball cannot land. Unfortunately, he was not able to detect that fast yeah. enough. Well, the reason, honestly, is he was looking actually at the ball rather than the attacker. 
I see. You look at the attacker, they will tell you what they're going to do with the ball. There's plenty yeah, of time language. to then pick the ball up yeah. after the attacker is done. But see the attacker, the attacker will tell you what they're going to do. That's how off speed is picked up by great teams. Get off the ball, get on the, on the actor is what we say, on the, on the player. Right side attack, kill. Match point for Volley Sports. 24 19. 19. And they're bringing their pinch server just <laughs> as they did in the previous few sets. Okay. This is a veteran guy, you veteran can tell. Guy, yes. You can tell. Right. I'm not wrong, he's the mentor of the current sets okay, of all sports. Right side yeah. attack, kill by MMC. He got one back Not right there. going away yet. 24-20. Volley Sports. One point away from moving into the championship match versus Spico. Ace. MMC. 24-21. Timeout taken by Volley Sports. Probably a good timeout just to make sure that they are settled, they are organized, and they can okay. bring back their best. And like what you said just now, to what you said, timeout, now is the perfect time to end the last attack smash potentially and to just get, get this match down and settle and to have a good rest before tomorrow's finals exactly it must definitely be on their minds right now get settled in get organized bring your best and get into that championship match well, get the first pass right. yes and a fantastic attack and then with a three-point win you swing to win swing to win Got a good pass, right side, blocked, covered. Volley Sports giving the free ball. Not yet, out of system. Another chance for Volley Sports, right side, tip. Still not yet. Left side, Volley Sports swinging. Still not yet. Right side attack, left side. What Great a rally. defense from Volley Sports right there. MMC. One more swing. Volley Sports still picked up. Free, Free ball. ball. Volley Sports. Swing left side. Blocked. MMC. What a rally. Best rally of the night on match point That's for Volley right. Sports. That's by far the most exciting rally of the match. MMC still alive, 24-22. There was nail biting each of our seats action right there. It sure was. And everyone, come on down tomorrow. See it in person, free admission. If you can't, tune in tomorrow and listen on, on on this on the streaming 23 24 it looked like Volley Sports brought in a more versatile attacker hoping just take it down with a middle spike Volley Sports taking their final time out with a slim 24 23 lead looking one point away from winning the match. But their MMC is trying to deny them this fourth set win, hoping to take it to a rubber set. Yes, they are. To fight for their place in the finals tomorrow. Okay, this has just been the way volleyball has been today. We have had two tremendous semifinals, semifinal matches. Definitely. End-to-end -end stuff, mm -hmm. momentum swinging here and there. Oh, back row attack, they're gonna call it. We are tied at 24 apiece.
I don't think either official saw that there was center was back row. Yeah, I think there was a backcourt violation. Backcourt violation, but no whistle right away. Okay. We are tied. Through the hands. Volley Sports. Again, serving for the match. 25-24. Here we go. Good tough serve. Right side. Call is in. We are tied still at 25 apiece. MMSD is keeping their hopes alive. They are hanging in. in. They are matchup. hanging in. That's right. Right side attack. Block, MMC, now looking at set point to push this into a fifth and deciding set. Boy, didn't see this coming about 10 minutes ago. That right, at the middle of this set, Wallace Force took uh, the driver's seat. See right side here. attack again. Skipped off the top of the block. Great attack by Volley Sports. And we are now tied again at 26 apiece. Remember, it is win by two. Just too hot for us to call, Coach. <laughs> right side attack, same guy. Touch, handled by Volley Sports. Swing, covered by Volley Sports. MMC's turn, right side attack, blocked, still alive. MMC, left side, in trouble. Kill, no, we are still alive. Volley Sports off the block, match point. The technician beside me was so excited as well. He let out a huge scream. <laughs> what a man. <laughs> oh, boy. It's hard to not be excited yes. watching this. For the match. Left side. MMC again. To the left side. Off speed. Kill. We are tied again, 27 apiece. This is the most exciting pass six points of the <laughs> match that we've had. MMC on the serve, good pass. Quick attack by Volley Sports. Again, match point. That's execution when you've got to have it. Definitely. That was a that was a pretty play. So perfect pass, perfect quick attack. Unstoppable. 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 Trouble. Left side. Out of bounds and we have a final. Oh, they are calling touch. They are calling touch. Yes, I think number 14 from Volley Sports. Caleb, did you see a touch? Well, doesn't matter. But from touch the reaction been... of uh, the player, I think there was a touch. <laughs> okay. okay, left side, off speed. Handled by Volley Sports. Free ball, MMC. Left side, touch. Pancake, up. Volley Sports, still in it. Left side again. Volley Sports, off the dig. Run down. Volley Sports unable to run that down. MMC now looking to take this again to set five. That was a good chase down. Unfortunately, he didn't have the final touch to send the ball flying back into the court. He ran out of room. Afraid he's going to run into a wall, I think. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, we've got bad pass. Volley Sports having to free ball it for the set. MMC, left side, not yet. Left side again, not yet. MMC, 
And we are tied again. Boy, that was a gutsy swing by Volley Sports this on an out-of-system high ball to get the touch out off the blocker of MMC. And with that point, this brings us the fifth deuce. The fifth and deuce, and we are at set. what? 29-29? Yes. Oh. Good serve. This is not a time to commit a mistake right here. Not at all, but nobody seems to be able to get a ball down. We got trouble, oh. we got trouble. Volley Sports getting another chance to take, take this match in four. Match point, 30-29, Volley Sports. He overplayed that pass. If not, it, it was uh, it would be a, been a good opportunity for a good spider, some good spot. Yeah. Okay. Got trouble. Volley Sports with the chance for the win. And no, rejected by MMC. MMC. 30 30. Last month, I played a In match. In fact, we just ran yeah. out of numbers <laughs> on the score, the flip board, and we've got to go at 0 0, but it is actually 30 30. Miss serve by Volley, by MMC. Like we said, not the time to make it. Not the time, pitch. not the time. No. So often, those are fatal yes. because now you've got the emotion, the psychology of having to deal with that, and Volley Sports has the chance. Left side. Block touch. Swing for the match. Volley Sports gets it off the block. We have a final. It will be Volley Sports taking on Spyco tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Right here at Our Tempanese Hub in Singapore. What an exciting match it was, Coach. Oh, boy. MMC taking on what everyone thought would be ORD in the final, ORD playing for third place. The good news for all of these teams is they are almost certain to be in Series 3 Definitely. in that big Singapore international uh, competition in July. And pitting but the skews against the region's best. The region's bait. best, you bet. What an exciting match. Well, Caleb, uh, final thoughts on the match before we close it out. I thought that a more consistent team won. Uh, they were better coached. Adjustments made during the game gave them the edge over their opponents because I think on paper both teams are equally as strong, mm. but it was the adjustments and the composure they had finally that gave them that small edge over MMC. And that's that's all there was. The difference was so, so small, but I think you're absolutely right. What was good to see, all those missed serves that we saw in the first half of this match, the first two sets, yes. we did not see those misses in sets three.